Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back again with another haul video. So the items I have here today I picked up at the antique mall as well as another little antique mall. There are some real bargains here, but the majority of what I'm going to show are kitschy items. Very retro, vintage. Well, they're all vintage, but they're very like that cute, kitschy, you know, vibe that I love getting. So I'm going to jump right on in and show you some bananas. Some bananas. Bana <laughs> no, I can't say it correctly. Bananas. So this is chalkware and they're large. A pair of large bananas. But it's made of chalk, that plaster of Paris material. You hang this on your wall. There's the back of it. That's like paper so that's attached. But it's overall in really nice shape. Very retro, very kitschy. Hang that on your kitchen wall or yeah, probably your kitchen, your kitchen wall, your dining room. Isn't it beautiful though? So I bought that. I think it was like five or six dollars. I would think that it would sell. Oh, there's writing on the side. I didn't catch catch that before. Hmm, interesting. I think it says 1969. It's cut off. Uh, it's cut off on the side, but it looks like 1969 right, right there. But yeah, so that's really cool. I probably would sell this for between twelve and fifteen dollars because of its size. It's very cute. Probably like like twelve to fourteen dollars. So uh, I think that's going to go on a live sale, one of my Friday night live sales. But here's something I'm going to show you that's going to go on an auction on eBay. It's up there. It's up on eBay right now. Very nice Siamese cats, salt and pepper shakers. These are a like a nice large size. That's about six to seven inches tall. They're very cute. Look at those. They're just like stunning. Oh, I love those little anthropomorphic eyes right there. They're just really, really cute. So there's the pair of them and they're in pretty nice shape without any chips or cracks. And they're not marked on the bottom, but they do have their stoppers right in there. So yeah, overall in really, really nice shape. And I will stick those up on on eBay right now at auction format and I think they'll do pretty well. Now for another set of salt and pepper shakers. These are made by Lefton, very different. So I've seen them before but they are the graduates right here and they've got like little rhinestones for the eyes. They're so cute. A great, great little um, gift for that, for graduating. This, uh, now where did I get these? How much were they? I got them at an antique mall and they were I think $3 for the pair. There is a chip on the back of this one. Now that can be easily hidden just with a little black paint if you want to go that far. Well, that's not focusing very well, is it? There you go. So with the little black, that would be gone. And yeah, it's on the back even still. So very cute. Love those. They're, they're marked left in on the back or bottom. G-O-Z left in 1956. And they have their sticker on the back. So those are fun and I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to put those on a Friday night sale. I think those are going to go on a Friday night sale. Then I bought this because it's really cool. It's, it's marked Vit, Vitrock on the bottom. It's this fired on planter. Isn't that cool? The green and has all those angles on it. And then look at the bowl that goes with it. So it kind of just, you can do one of those types of things. Just like that. I bought this for, I want to say like, it was between three, between three and four dollars, maybe like three or four dollars. So I'm not sure what I want to do on this one, but it's really cool. Reminds me of Hazel Atlas. Uh, I haven't looked it up yet though. And it's this fired on, so pretty. Ah, very cool. So I'm not sure. I, I'm leaning on a Friday night sale for this one as well. Let me show you something that's going to go on auction. Uh, nothing else. No, I'm just joking. Uh, okay, I'll put these on auction. I wasn't going to, but these, these can be another auction item. These are made in Japan ashtrays. They are luster and they have, we've got two clubs with the horse on it. And that's another one with the horse on it. And this is another one with the horse on it. However, wait a minute. Oh, darn it. Okay, this one has a chip on the tail. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna get a spade and a club. 
So I'll put the pair of those on eBay just as they are. And then maybe I can save this other one for a Friday night sale as it is. Because on the back, from the back of the tail, you can see that white right there. That's where that has been chipped. But from the front, you don't, you don't see it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll put those on. I think I paid, was it $6? Yeah, I think $6 for all three of them. So hopefully I can sell these two for about $12 to $14. Maybe a little bit more on auction format, we'll see. And this other one, I'd like to sell for about $4 or $5 as it is. But oh, yeah, overall I think those are pretty cool. Very different. And they would have probably came as a set of like you got your hearts and your diamonds too. Here's another piece of chalkware with the orange. Very cool. So it's chalkware orange. Hang that on your, on your, where would you hang that? On your wall. However, I just realized there is not a hanger on it anymore. I'm not sure. I maybe I must have bought it that way. So I'll probably try to devise and stick in there some kind of thing and glue it in so that you can hang this on your, on your wall. But it's an overall very nice shape as you can see. So I pretty, pretty sure I paid you know, three or four dollars for this and it would sell for about nine or ten dollars on a Friday night sale. So that's cool. I also bought this salt and pepper shaker set. This is Mark Japan on it. Oh, how, how pretty. It has this flower and this flower. And it is a souvenir item. From the back, there's a little bit of what remains of something. Let me see if I can read it. It says, New York, souvenir of New York City. So that's cool. Very, very neat. It almost looks like a majolica or mayolica, mayolica. I can never get the pronunciation correct, but it's this lead or tin based glaze on here. So pretty. So this one, I think I paid $3 for, three or $4 for, and I would imagine it would sell for about 12 in a Friday night live sale. So that'll go on Friday night live sale. Now these, these are also chalkware, and I just sold a strawberry one. I don't have the strawberry one anymore, but here's an apple and a pear. Now I bought these for, I don't even remember anymore. They're, they were probably like $3 each or something, but I will probably sell the pair for maybe around 15 on a Friday night live sale. And it, what, what a great thing if the person that got the strawberry one could have these two and have the whole set. But those are so cool. I'm looking for a maker on them real quick. Ah, Miller Studios 1975. Very neat. I love that Miller Studios always would, would not always, but pretty much always on the side of their items or the bottoms you can see who made them and what year they made them or at least what year the molds were made but those are super cool and they're in very nice shape i just realized i got a lot of very similar things here so keeping up with the wall plaques now these are not uh, chalk these are plastic but we have here a set of three i paid three dollars for these you've got this one this one very 70s for sure and this one which is definitely different <laughs> lobster so you get all three of them and i paid three dollars i thought that was a fantastic price they are plastic and they are roman numeraled on the back mcm lxxv they're made by home co home interiors so yeah i bought those three they're probably also going to go on a friday night live sale Price range about $15 for the set of three, I would think. Now, I'm gonna wrap up this video with salt and pepper shakers. I've got a good handful of them that I bought. They were a dollar each. I mean, that's just a fantastic price. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, these were, these were a fantastic find. Okay, let's start off with the biggest ones. Strawberries, huge, right here. Ah, oh, look at those. They're in pretty nice shape. I mean, there might be like a little flea bite here or there, but overall, I mean, they're they're brilliant. So you've got the salt shaker and the pepper. Now they don't have their stoppers. I do have a collection of extra ones. I just need to remember to add them and uh, make sure I have the right size. But 
great great price i think those will do really well on a friday night live sale and those being the, the size that they are probably a 12 dollars set of salt and peppers then i got some corn cobs these are marked japan on the bottom but they're very cool i like the color they're kind of they're kind of understated in a way they're not like a garish color not like a bright green or anything so they are marked japan right there but yes i like that it's almost like a matte, like a semi-gloss, the way that they did it. So it's really pretty, and you get the pair of them for, again, a dollar for the set. And those would probably sell for about $8 or so. And then I do have some 1930s Japan salt and pepper shakers. These have the crazing on them and the flowers, very pretty. Oh, I got that backwards. There's the salt. Yeah, I love that creamy bisque color they are glazed and they do have crazing throughout and they are marked like i said made in japan on the bottom here can we see that yes very cool a dollar for those two and those would probably sell for eight to ten dollars sort of an interesting one i've got a plastic camel a little plastic camel and the humps are the shakers very different very interesting but it is it is kind of a, a a greenish color like a chartreuse or something but i bought this one for a dollar as well and it would sell for about eight dollars on a friday night sale then this one is just straight up 70s looking to me look at those ah i do need to wipe them off a little bit they are a little tiny bit dirty but they are adorable with the burrs and the flowers, salt and the pepper. Just, just a fantastic one. Again, $8 set, I paid a dollar. Now these are squirrels, and I think they're one of my favorites of, of what I got, because squirrels, you know, but we've got the pair here. So we've got that one right up front. How cute, and then this one back here, adorable. They are marked Japan. They have some age to them, and they do have their original corks. So that's cool. And they're in great shape without any chips or cracks. These, probably also eight to $10 for those salt and peppers, they're adorable. And then I've got a basket, a little basket with strawberries in them. So we've got this two strawberries. They are marked Japan on the bottom. And I did pay a dollar for these as well. They're a little bit faded, this one in particular. I wonder if it's just a little residue or if it, you know, get maybe some vinegar and wipe this off where it's kind of clouded, that would help. But you've got the basket here. It's also marked on the bottom of the basket and I would sell that for about $8 as well. This one is a beautiful set of cats. They are marked USA. So it's like a USA pottery and they are definitely pottery as opposed to, well, I mean, it's like a thicker kind of a pottery. So you've got the cork. This one doesn't have a cork. I might have a spare, I'm not sure. And they have a little bow. Now this one on the back, it's been a little chipped off right there. Not a huge deal. Oh, and I need to wipe them off because there's some like, you know, crayon on there. But overall, they're kind of adorable because the color and the cats, so. Yes, I will sell those. They're probably gonna go up for about $6 on a Friday night sale. And one of the most interesting ones I saved for the end, we've got a pair of elephants. Green elephants. Or I'm sure, they're, I'm sure they are elephants, I don't know though. How cute, they're pottery, it's redware. And they're made in Mexico. Ah, those are very, very cool. You can see the, red, the redware slipping through right there on the bottom where it's worn, the glaze is worn, that red pottery. There you can put your, your cork in there, made in Mexico. So that's the one and the other, so they match. Those would sell for about $8 in a Friday night sale as well. So honestly, I don't have much going on eBay, do I? I have the Siamese cats, a couple of these luster guys, the ashtrays, and the rest is a Friday night sale. But I think I did pretty good. I got some pretty interesting salt shakers there for a dollar each. I'm so happy about that. 
love picking salt and pepper shakers up because they're so functional. You know, I love I love figurines and I love salt and pepper. I love figurines because they're cute and I love salt and pepper shakers because you can actually use them. So together, they just work so well. I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.